Umbras, and welcome to another sketchbook video. Um, this is the G May May sketchbook video. Whoops, whoops, my bad. Um, so yeah, I just had strawberries and my sweet tea, so I'm ready to roll. Okay, we're just gonna start with this one. Now, this one is a mess right now, so I moved everything that has been recent up. We will not be flipping through this, but just looking at the loose things that kind of fell out. So I've been developing the um, the Robin Hood AU a little bit more because people are starting to like that AU, and I'm starting to like it too. So um, these are the final designs for both of them. Um, Spain is El Mensero, Men Mensajero. Sorry, I said that wrong. El Mensajero and Romano's The Red Bandit. So those are their set designs for their costumes and stuff. And then just more sketches. Oh goodness. Yeah, just more, more sketches. If you want to see these up close, a little bit more in detail, you can go on my Tumblr or my DeviantArt and see them. Um, a little sleepy Romano. And these were some uh, headcanon set for this AU that some people recommended to me. Um, yes. A little flirty action and then a little bit of angst. Again, if you want to try to read all these words, you can right now, but you can get it in a much better quality. Um, this was the final collab for that one, whoops, for that one Instagram collab. I finally colored it after a million years. So I think it turned out okay. I think it's cute. Again, this is American Horror Story inspired. It's from season one, Murder House. So yeah. Um, this wasn't a request, but it was kind of a request for somebody, somebody's, uh, uh project that they were doing and I thought it was interesting it was kind of like a psychological kind of artist project and so they gave me a description of this character two times one with less detail and one with more detail I can't find the one with more less detail that I did for some reason but this was the one with more detail but anyways I like this one a lot better so yeah this was the character with a more descriptive detailed description, character bio. So yes, I did that for her. And then this is the, um, the, this the final version sketch for my, for me and a friend's graduation party invitations. And I'll put the final product up right here. I think it turned out well. Um, yeah, I think we both look very cute, so in my style. So, yeah, and the invitations turned out really great, so, um, spot it again. Yeah, and I think that's it. By the way, I did finish the shirt, and I'll put the film, <laughs> oh goodness, I'm choking. Um, I'll put the final product up right here. <laughs> yeah. That was the final shirt. He loved it. He wore it. Hopefully, he'll keep wearing it. <laughs> so, yes. I have trust. I have faith in him. So this sketchbook might be a little unfamiliar to you, mostly because it is a new sketchbook. Um, I got this sketchbook when I was awarded the art department award for at the academic awards night, and I really want to turn this sketchbook into more of a character building, my story, not Spamano, original concept kind of thing, sketchbook that I can just take with me and doodle ideas and blah 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 blah. So um, I really like how it has this little rubber band on it to keep it all intact. And um, so this is a character you'll see a lot of when we when, once we get started. I got um, more creative, I put my art, creative art box stickers and stuff like that. I put some quotes. 
and I put my psychology teacher. I actually drew a doodle of this like a while ago and put it on his board and apparently it was so so iconic that everybody started saying it and now that's like his catchphrase. And I know, okay listen, I know I made the stuff too blocking and it says yes yes yes, it's lies lies lies. Thank you. This is not a four. This is a separate identity kind of thing. It says lies, lies, lies. I just want to get that through. It kind of does say yes, 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 but it's, it's lies, lies, lies. Anyway, psychology teacher. Yes, um, bugger. Yeah, got it. Um, so we're turning the page. <laughs> um, as you can- okay, I was awarded this May 9th, and then I began it on May 17th. And still haven't finished it, and I'll put that there when I finish it. And I put my name. Um, <laughs> this was from the one marker challenge. Whoops. The one marker challenge, Minnie Mouse. Um, and I really don't like doing both sides, but I just I did anyway. And this paper is very, very weird. It's very soft and doesn't have. It has like a kind of like fuzzy texture to it. It's not the best paper in the world. But I kind of don't like it that much because it kind of smears, but I'm not complaining, okay? I, it was awarded to me, so I'm not complaining. Um, but yes, anyways. Um, so this is my character, Melosa, um, which is which is Spanish for kind of cute, sweet, personality-wise. Um, when you're doing, when you're trying to... Uh, describe a person so she doesn't do ballet but I wanted to do some figure drawing and stuff like that with a ballerina because I recently got into dance academy at, for, in, at I can't talk today I'm sorry um, on Netflix and it's an Australian show I like myself my Australian shows I think they're the best so yeah so this is Melosa she's very quiet very sweet kind of all-american girl they're not American. And this is an object head, by the way. I totally forgot to mention that. Object head. She's a little strawberry. So. And then this is also her. I put her in some outfits and I put a reference picture in here. Just, you know, safekeeping. And. Oh, I'll put him. Yeah, that's her feet. And then I wanted to make her a boyfriend slash best friend slash whatever partner. And I came up with this character. He's a little bit very much humaner than she is because he's got glasses and he's kind of got like facial fuzz on him and he's got longer leaves on his head. But yeah, I, I think he looks cute. I think he's adorable. And I kind of wanted to make his name Brett, but I've also put all these. <laughs> All of these in there. It's like Flynn, Michael, Arlo, Giuseppe, Benji, Mac, Max, Otto. I don't know. I just went with Brett because I kind of like doing the T thing. Where it's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know. Um, I, and then I kind of went binge on them, trying to draw them a lot. Um, just being very cute, doing cute coupley things. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, it's weird. I like the object heads. I've always gotten in, I've always loved object heads ever since I saw Alice in Wonderland, um, the Disney version, where she's like sitting on the rock and all these like creatures come out. You know, this, like the birds have shovels for faces and stuff like that. I thought that was like super cute and like really neat. And I've always been fascinated with them. And I didn't know it was a fandom until like a year ago, and then that's why I started getting into object heads. And I started doing it a few weeks ago because I developed this strawberry girl out of nowhere and I fell in love with it. So, yeah, you'll definitely see a lot of object heads in here, especially with food items. But yeah, that's, ew, it's a gross sketch, don't look at that. But, um, this is art drop kind of things. And um, this is a quote from a sketchbook video I saw. She was like making a book and I thought it was really, really clever. Um, it says, I don't know what I am, but I know that I am a thing. Sometimes I feel big, sometimes I feel small, and sometimes I feel like I'm nothing at all. It's very Dr. Susie, and I kind of liked it, so. And my, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like chewing a mint. I'm like choking on my words. Um, and my sister <laughs> recommended that I draw an av avocado mom with her avocado kid. <laughs> so, I don't know. I really like how this turned out. I think it's so adorable. Okay. I know how for some people this might be a little weird for objects being heads and they're like people. I don't know. I don't think it's weird at all. I don't know. I don't think it's strange. But I don't know. I'm, I'm just weird. Um, anyways, more kissy kissy. Kissy kissy kissu. Um, and then I wanted to make um, more strawberry related characters. So I decided to do like a strawberry shortcake character and a strawberry or chocolate dip. Strawberry, yes. Her strawberry dipped in chocolate, whatever. And then I made them, Brett and Melissa, or Melissa, <laughs> Melissa, into human characters. And this is where I kind of went, like, I was struggling with glasses a little bit, so I kind of did some reference studies for different glass frames. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep her hair like that, but I kind of like it. I kind of don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um... And then I decided to make um, their best friends, kind of like, you know, girlfriend, you know, best friend, hanging out with every day. So this is Brett's best friend, his name's Arlo, and um, he's shy, introverted, don't care attitude, he's a video gamer, he loves math and science, and he's also a- I made him asexual, I don't know why, <laughs> I just feel like that was something he would just- he just really doesn't care for the sex life. He's more of a very, let's just play video games together and cuddle on the couch and sleep, you know, kind of person. And, um, and also he attracts a lot of girls, um, because of the chocolate, because chocolate is good and chocolate is satisfying, so chocolate is sex, so. Psychology one-on-one. -on -one. Um, anyways, so this is, um, Melosa's best friend, and she is the strawberry shortcake. I made her a little bit, um, chubbier, and a little bit shorter, because I thought it was cute. And, um, um, I, I had a really hard time with her name, too. It says Lucy, Angelica, Cherry, Macy, Alice, Susie, I don't know what that says, Kit. Lauren and Ruby and I decided to go with Ruby um, I don't know I just thought it fit <laughs> and she comes from a more rich back I'm I'm planning to like this is like a college setting kind of thing like they're all in college doing something and she comes from a rich background she's peppy she's fashionable she's loud she's an extrovert she's kind of like um basically Glinda from Wicked if you ever seen that Broadway show so yeah and, oh, uh, let me address this first, more kissy kissy, and I feel like the pets in my world, in this world, are kind of like a play on words, like catfish, um, so yeah, they're like half food, half animal kind of thing, so this is a catfish, so basically a cat mermaid, as a pet, I thought it was cute. <laughs> I'm probably the only one who thinks this is, this is all cute. And in this world, um, I explained this on Instagram as well, that um, characters that have very fragile heads, like strawberries and food items and or glass or stuff like that, they can break and they can get chunks out of their head without anything harmful happening to them because it'll just grow back like a starfish kind of thing. Um, so this is him with like a chunk out of his head and like strawberry juice or blood or whatever you want it to be. It's like dripping out of his head and he's like, ew. Um, but it'll, it'll just grow back like starfish's, you know, hands would. But there's a very, like inside of them is their central system, like their heart and stuff. So if that were to be damaged in any way, that would make them die. So, yeah. That could possibly kill them. 
And then this is just them, her, Melissa, repairing his head. I kind of really like this body shape that I made him. Um, these like body folds. I don't know. I just I like it. It's very realistic. And then these are two people that you'll see er, um, later, 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 blah, uh, later. This was just concept sketches. <laughs> um, more concept sketches, just them being sexy. And then this is the catfish again. And I really wanted her to start, like, I was thinking about her working at a diner part time, like a 50s diner, kind of stylized diner. And she would, like, kind of like, um, what's that place called? Sonic? Sonic? Where they have the roller skates and they kind of bring your food to you. But it's a diner, it's like inside. So, yeah. I don't know, I thought it was cute. Probably the only one who thinks it's cute. And then I did like a little strawberry, like I put a strawberry right, like a real life strawberry right here and I posted it to Instagram. So I'll put that right there. <laughs> um, and then this is, I, I feel like they, Brett and Melissa would meet like at the diner, like he would go there, take a fancy for this waitress and he comes there daily and they get to know each other and you know, just very cliche kind of thing. And then I was practicing eyes with my and also he fell asleep while reading the newspaper and she's like, hello, your food's here. So, <laughs> and then this is the other characters you saw earlier having angst and then this is a script that I'm planning to do for a comic for Screen of Romano. And then this was for hashtag the hashtag mermaid on Instagram. I decided to do an object head mermaid and it's an anchor. Um, I wanted to do kind of like a marine type object. And I didn't want to do a flower or a starfish because mm, because I wanted to incorporate starfish in the picture. So I was like, that's not gonna work. So I just went with the anchor and I actually really like it. I think it's cute. So and I'm also J Miami Senior bookmark to mark my spot. Um, and so these are the three, the two characters you've been seeing up sometime. Um, a while ago I had a story that I was doing, um, for, for like Espamano AU for Romano and it was about like Romano can see like mental disorders through his eyes and they're represented with monsters and they're latching on to these people but he can only see them it's kind of like a hallucination kind of thing but they're actually there um so i want to represent that story in a future animation like when i get to mcad i really want to start developing that story because that's really like one of my dream animations i'd love to do so, just that story. So I decided to develop these two characters for them. So this is the person that can see the mental disorders. And I'm not sure whether to make him like a psychologist or a psychology professor or a professor or something. Um, yeah, it says he can see illnesses um, in the form of object head monsters. Kind of like, I'll be representing the object heads kind of like I did with the mental illnesses. Um, mental illness, final project, final art project, project. <laughs> so yeah, that's him. He has glass. He kind of looks like Brett, but with longer hair. I really do like the longer hair, and he always wears this trench coat kind of thing. He's not shabby, kind of depressed, shabby kind of person, but he's a very stoic, mysterious man type person, but like when he gets into a room, he's very flamboyant, he's very active, kind of like night and day kind of thing. And so he meets this girl, um, whoa, someone's having like a drag race out there. Um, he meets this girl, um, and I don't know whether to make her like an art student, or just a student in university, or like a secretary of sometimes she works somewhere, I don't know. But, um, he's a little bit older, she's a tiny bit younger, kind of like the same age difference as Spina Romano, but she meets him somewhere, they get along, they get in a relationship, they kind of fall in love, and she has something latched to her, 
and it's um she has really de bad depression and she's very suicidal but it's not very out there she doesn't really show it that much um because she's like hiding behind a smile she's very happy but nobody knows that there's like this development in her head and she's thinking all these things she's just going through life with people not knowing that she just wants to end it all and he sees it like he can see a portion of that monster like behind her but he can't really get a very clear look of what it is and so he and then when he realizes you know you know this happy girl is suicidal he feels like he has to do something and he tries to tell her and you know he's been keeping this secret for years and he wants to do something without damaging their relationship and I don't know is this a little story in my head an idea for a future like short film or animation kind of thing I think it would be really cool to develop I don't know I just really want it to happen so yeah that's basically all I got in this sketchbook and basically I'll be using this sketchbook a ton in the future yeah so, and I also made stickers. This is Melosa again, and apology teacher. And I did, um, okay, um, I did work in this a lot, a little bit. Um, not a lot, because it was kind of in the car of my friends, and I couldn't access it for a week, so I did write in this, and I did put some things in it, so I have to find them real quick. Um... Oh, I have to get like a paper. Shoot. I totally forgot. I'm very insecure about my writing. Um, <laughs> so, um, oh, this is gonna be so awkward. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so this is a little doodle that I did. I got my dream journal back, and I remember I did doodles in them, so I just kind of cut it out and stuff. And I, I cut out the doodles and just put, put them in here. So, this is another strawberry kind of person. Um, if you remember my, like, strawberry character from the last sketchbook, that's basically him, but, like, original, like, initial sketches. Like, like pre-character development. So, um, I'm not gonna show you that because that's too much writing. And, oh gosh, okay. Um, this is also another doodle I did. It's like, baby punk. <laughs> So stupid. Okay. Um. And then. And then this is another. Um. More doodles. Right there. It says, draw me like one of your French berries. At age six, I was born without a face, and what a beautiful day to do nothing. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was funny at the time. So yeah. Um. That's it for all the sketchbook videos. Let me know if you guys like this month's sketchbook. I know this is going to be a little late. It's probably going to be in like June already. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm sorry if this is uploading late. I'm really sorry. I couldn't find the time to like be by myself. Like nobody's here. So I had to wait a while. So um, I hope you guys have a great afternoon, evening morning I totally said that backwards <laughs> wherever in the world you may be and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make I love you guys so so much bye